Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ, and this is the single dumbbell devastator. It is silent but deadly like my dog's fart, so get ready for it. A 50 pound dumbbell on this would crush me. Uh, I'd recommend starting with a 25 pound dumbbell or less in the beginning. You're gonna do six movements, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, three movements that are unilateral single side as you do each side, six total moves. It's a six minute sequence, do three to five total rounds, resting one to two minutes between rounds. Here we go. I'm gonna start with the first movement, which is a push up to isometric row with push up jack. 50 seconds on this side, then I would switch. So I'm gonna get like that, wide base. So I have good stability to support, keep the hips and shoulders square to the ground. I do a push up, get the elbows relatively tight to the sides. I pull up, squeeze, one, two, three, release, jack. Push up to iso, one, two, three, really push and pull, push down arm, pull top arm, back, jack. Repeat that pattern, 50 on, 10 off, switch sides, okay? From there, next two movements are bottom half get up. So you're gonna put, best way to start on this is, um, I'll go like this, you don't see my ball sack. A couple of these testicles keep popping out of these short shorts. Some of you are gonna get real lucky and see my brains in a second. So I'm gonna get like this, hold it like a, a precious uh, food stock, or launch your back. So you got 10 seconds to get into this position or switch sides. I'm gonna stay flat backed. You wanna make sure that shoulder is packed down. So you don't want it off the ground. Keep it down and relaxed, arm is straight. I'm gonna move 45 degrees to the side. First onto the forearm and then to the hand. And I'm gonna keep my shoulders down. I don't want this to happen. No, the ears need to stay as far away from the shoulders as possible. Back down, release. All right, forearm, hand, reverse and keep repeating that pattern. Keep the eyes up at the bell, pray for life. That's gonna work shoulders, core, obliques, even a little bit of glute on this bent leg, all right? So you do both sides. Final two movements is a suitcase up-down. Now you're gonna hold it in your left hand the entire way. Only left leg is gonna be coming forward and back. Now the key as we translate the leg forward and back, we're already asymmetrically loaded, so the tilting and turning forces are primo, adding that leg movement also ups the stability demand. So you wanna to try to do this as slow as possible. You could also make it harder by holding here to here to overhead. Find yourself with a really light weight, hold it here or here, but I'm going heavier, so this will be right here at the side. So I'm tall up top, ribs and shoulders down, abs crunch, balance a glass of water in your head as you do this. Slowly translate forward, legs at about a 90 degree angle, stand up, reverse, and just keep repeating. It's not about speeding it up, it's about minimizing any sort of tittering, tottering, turning, tilting, you got it, all right? Trying to really stabilize and own the movement also really cleans up your lunge pattern by having to have that starting strength from the bottom, okay? So that is the movement, you would do 50 seconds on that side, 10 seconds rest, switch sides and repeat. Simple dumbbell workout, fat burning, muscle building, metabolism boosting, mobility, conditioning, all that good stuff. For more home workouts you can take to the gym, join the dailybj.com and subscribe to my channel today. Peace.